Swimming is really one of the only sports that will actually save your life. And even though the swimming world is not diverse, I believe that it should be. We should all be able to enjoy the water. Outdoor swimming is so special to me because I just love being in nature. There's just something about being near the birds, near the grass. I'm Omi, I'm a swimming instructor and I also work for a number of organisations that look to increase access to swimming for people of colour. Ultimately, I just love the water and I really love getting others into it as well. So Divers Cove is a really good place to swim for the first time. So as you can see, it's quite contained. So I know some of you are experienced swimmers. Some of you are quite new, but this is actually like a really nice place to have your, like, your first outdoor experience. First time swimming generally in about three or four years. So um, put my trust in you guys. Um, Amazing. I'm a swimming teacher. Famous last words. So don't worry. I really want people who don't typically swim outdoors to come swimming outdoors and really benefit from how it makes us feel. So let's go nice and slowly, just get your feet in. She's actually not bad. Red. No, guys, it's not bad. <laughs> I absolutely love teaching people to swim, particularly with adults. Yeah, so cool. what we're going to practice is flotation. And this is a great way to even just like enjoy the water without having to swim. You want to feel your ears in the water. That's nice. it! Oh Very my god, nice. I'm not even doing anything really. I feel like I'm being baptised. <laughs> so many people come to me when they don't know how to swim. <laughs> that's it, that's it. I think the barriers of entry to swimming, particularly for black people, are first and foremost um, the issue and the myth saying that black people can't swim. I think that really does feed into that lack of participation and generations not swimming. So, you know, if your mum doesn't swim, you won't swim. There's a lot of apprehension or fear surrounding the water. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> this doesn't feel like this. Yeah. 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 Let it, let it yeah. go, you this go, is you using go. a lot of energy, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just so, so beautiful to see someone becoming more comfortable in the water, to see that joy on someone's face, and to see them achieve, you know, going five metres in the water, floating on their back. Oh, it's just my favourite thing ever. I love it. I grew up in Peterborough to a Gambian mother and an Irish father in a very mixed and what I'd say is a normal working class household. My dad's a really strong swimmer. My mum can't swim at all. Hello. She also believed, I think, that the idea of black people can't swim, black people can't float. And I think that's probably a reason for her not pushing herself to learn. I guess it's something she didn't want her children to have to do as an adult, as she has. Oh, this was on our, one of our first camping holidays. I really felt connected to the outdoors as a child. We'd go on holidays in the UK. We actually used to do this thing that in the newspaper, you used to be able to get like cheap holidays um, if you bought enough vouchers. So we'd get like 9.99 holidays. <laughs> When we're not swimming at the beginning, we're never, you know, progress into that stage where we become the teachers, where we become the lifeguards, um, where we help other people. And I think that's why it's so important for me and the people around me to kind of be that representation and show people that you can do it. There's loads of barriers to swimming, but I find that there are even more when it comes to outdoor swimming. A lot of that is like cost, so you know, getting equipment if you want a wetsuit, but a lot of it is also about knowledge. And I think that's why, you know, you only see a select few people that do come outdoor swimming. Let's relax. Yay! High five, high five. They've done that like 15 years ago. It's been ideal. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just swimming outdoors is like so different, right? It's like you just feel good, innit? Like when you're just around the stillness of the water. And... and this is what I try to always communicate to people is like going out with your friends, going to lovely places like this, exploring, like you can explore so many different parts of the UK yeah. and different places to swim. I come from a competitive swimming background. So I can swim laps of a swimming pool with chlorine and like set parameters. But now you're bringing me into like a lake where I can't see the bottom. And yeah, 
there's fish. <laughs> Growing up, I didn't really have many people that went on like holidays where you'd go to like beaches and things like that. It was only when I went to uni that I saw, I had a lot of friends that were like middle class and they'd talk about, oh, I'm a water baby. My family's like, have taken me on holidays from when I was free, going to all these places, swimming. And I was thinking, I've literally been on no holidays like that. So I, I can't relate. And I have such a massive gap in terms of catching up. It's so like sad because the water is literally amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, and it's so fun. And it's like to not feel like you belong somewhere yeah. where it's so joyful to be in the water. I'm thinking about all these different experiences like wild swimming or just swimming in general yeah. that you didn't get to do and it doesn't make sense for me. In university a lot of my friends were black and so for them to turn around to me and say like we don't know about the strokes it's like the penny drop for me I was like oh my gosh like I've been experiencing this in terms of feeling out of place but I've never actually like realized that a lot of like my friends can't swim. At the beginning, when I was when I was learning the floating, and you were saying, "Ah, oh, swimming's so relaxing, like so yeah. nice." In my head, I was thinking, "Boy." <laughs> <laughs> but, but as the day progressed, and I actually started to grasp yeah. the floating, takes away the panic, and then you do kind of. Yeah. I can see myself going on holidays now. Once you can swim here, you can then you know you can go stand up paddle boarding, kayaking, yeah. co-steering, going so surfing. It's a whole world that opens. With outdoor swimming, once you start really, you recognise the beauty of it and you just don't stop. Swimming throughout my life has actually been just paramount for my mental health and especially through the later years of my life when I've suffered with different things like depression, anxiety, etc. When I don't swim outdoors for a while, it really, really impacts how I feel. The future of wild swimming for me, for people of colour, is one that we enjoy. I want to see in like a few years time that when I go to the local lake or you know reservoir that there are more people that are looking like me that are just enjoying the water. Having that space is ours to claim just as anyone else and enjoying it, being with other people and reaping the benefits that the water has to offer. Planet Now.